The concept of the stove was conceived by a colleague of mine, Mr. Fidder Hussein, who produced the drawing of a box-shaped and completely airtight stove more than 10 years ago. In 1997, IUCN arranged a workshop on energy efficiency and appropriate house design. As a practical demonstration item, we commissioned Mr. Fidder Hussein's stove drawing to be built. After the practical demonstration of this prototype, the community participants from Hunza in northern Pakistan ordered 10 stoves with some further modifications according to their wishes which were provided to them at a subsidized cost. The community members from Hunza did not appreciate the stove which they ordered and never came back for more. However, the stove maker, a personal friend of mine, Mr. Shaban Ali and I kept modifying this stove over the past 10 years and came up with an improved version almost every year. Practical field trials through rural community members in the northern areas helped us to get feedback which eventually became very positive, indicating an improved energy efficiency of at least 40% against traditional cooking and heating methods. I must give credit to his and my wife at this point, who pointed out many little flaws in the numerous stoves we had in our own houses at that time. The main breakthrough of, for this stove came in 2005 with the South Asia earthquake. Confronted with the personal dilemma to spend around 3000 euro of private donations given to me by friends and family members in Germany, decided to build stoves and involve others to do so as well. In that winter, Shaban built around 1000 stoves. He came up with new inventions and improvements during this period and produced a variety of different models for different organizations including Malteza International and the American Relief Committee. Shaban and I decided then to call this stove the German Bukhari. In 2006, Welthungerhilfe decided to implement the first ever large-scale dissemination and training project of this stove. 7,000 of these stoves were mass-produced and disseminated under a subsidized cost scheme to earthquake-affected households in Pakistan under the technical supervision of Shaban and the project management of Mr. Fida Hussein. 30 local blacksmiths were trained in the production of this stove as well. One, main stove, two, smoke exit pipe, connected with main stove for smoke exit. Three, water boiler, connected through two pipes with the main stove. One, big burner or large burner covered with two lids, a small and a large, it provides direct heat and can be used for cooking by removing small lid only or both according to the requirement or the size of the dishes to be used. 2. Back burner covered with one lid it can be used for slow cooking, boiling liquids or reheating dishes. 3. Oven it can be used for baking bread, cakes, pies and other dishes, while other things are being cooked. 4. Front door. It can be opened for fuel input and removing of the ash after finishing. 5. Ash tray is under the front door for removing ash from the stove with an ash removal tool. 1. Front draft control. It is fixed on the front door and it can be used to increase or decrease the intensity of the fire. 2. Middle draft control. This is the flap which controls whether the oven receives heat from below or not. 3. Back draft control. It is fixed at the end of the stove and can be used for closing the smoke exit to allow coal to glow for extended periods after the fire has extinguished. Frying pan. It can be placed on large burner. It receives direct heat from the large burner and can be used for frying eggs, making breads or any dish you want. Yeah.